What's up guys? It's your boy Black here today with another video. So if you're not already, please drop a like and subscribe to the video. Now uh, today I want to talk about the base. Um, so the base, it's really fun. You can actually interact with your um, selective operatives that you have collected got the base and you can give them rooms and all sorts of neat stuff so i just kind of want to go through that just a short bit and um one thing about the base um you guys need to make sure that you guys are doing are collecting these little pieces right here so you see this this is like a uh, tetris piece all right so i got like a like a s shape you know piece right there and i believe there's another one somewhere over here and yep one right over here yep so be sure to pick up all those guys and then if um if you have any that's like left over you can also check on the map so i will check that in a second and oh got that achievement okay so i actually got one left as, as you can see in the bottom right hand side so that one it must be somewhere down here so I'll, I'll actually take a look at that later and oh i didn't mean to press quit <laughs> oh my god that was totally my fault all right let's go back in there bye y'all okay so there is one that i need to get somewhere but when you do click all those pieces come over here to caroline and she's mighty fine and um, you're going to go to an uh, info source exchange. And then uh, right here would be where you can collect pieces from other people. Well, from other friends. So that's why it's important to um, have a lot of friends in the game. So like when you do first um, start playing, just honestly, just friend a whole bunch of random people. Honestly, ones that seem active, keep them. The ones that don't seem active, delete them. <laughs> that simple but um that is how you get that for the exchange and then for the analysis i actually completed that that'll be the uh, puzzle that you have to uh connect all the pieces to fit but um, unfortunately i can't show you that because i had done it for a week and then if you have any pieces that you don't need you can salvage them but um for me i just like to keep them all just to make sure that i have all the necessary pieces to complete the puzzle so we're gonna click buy on you and come over here to your GG AI bot thingy majigger. And uh, here you can actually buy furniture and with furniture, you can uh, give it to your operatives and that will boost your trust rating with them. So thing about the trust rating, it does um, make them stronger. So this is something that you definitely want to do and you have to spend these, uh, opal vouchers and the way to get this is when you uh complete that tetris puzzle uh, that i mentioned so that's why you want to make sure that you do those and also uh story missions as well uh, by each operative you'll get those as well but um actually i actually want to go to the second floor show you guys the room now let's go and visit life and see it automatically teleports me there and voila i'm in life's room i love life room she got the whole gun set up you know i bought her this uh, drone right here and also i bought her this uh bookcase as well what you're over here doing girl okay so then as you see right here, you can uh, send them gifts that way once you click on them. And as you see on the left hand side, these are all the selective gifts that there is that I can give to her to increase that trust. So pretty simple, pretty basic. And also um, the story missions, when you get a higher trust rating with them, you unlock more story missions from them. And then within those story missions, you will get a reward as you can see so very important to uh, complete these so you can get that reward and ooh, what's this i got an avatar right there that you get 
upon reaching level 30. Okay, what about 50? Oh, nothing special with 50? What about 40? Oh, okay. Well, at least you get some gems, so that counts. <laughs> oh, and also, one more thing before I let you guys go. Um, when you do see your operatives in the uh, hall downstairs, make sure that you do speak to some of them because sometimes it will be in a random event that you guys will get. So, as you see, I got a random event for y'all. Okay. Well, I don't want to go through it. Um, so, I know you guys don't want to go through all this dialogue. But, um, after uh, completing a random event with them, you would get, you know, a large amount of trust. And I see that have boosted my Yao to trust level number two. So, just um, something to take note of for you guys to do. Now, that is it for this video.